What is that right there? Oh, is that a treat? It's a treat. What is up, my homies? Welcome to Mikey Balls Fishing, and thank you guys for watching. Your support for this channel has really made it blow up. And before we get started, I want to make sure, go and hit that like and subscribe button. A lot of you guys aren't subscribed to the videos. This is 100% real fishing content. I tell you what I've learned, tell you what I know catches fish, take you out fishing with me. And if you don't like that stuff, you probably shouldn't be watching this video. But with all that said, I'm going to show you what I think is one of the best swimbait techniques for fall and into that winter transition. There's no better way to catch them than doing exactly what I'm about to show you. I got my boy Dalton dangling with Dizzy with me right here. What's and up, here's what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna do something fun. I'm gonna teach Dalton how to do this because I don't think he's ever actually fished a Kai Tech or a little kind of ridge finesse swim, swim bait in this way. And let me tell you, if you have spots, if you have large mouth, if you have small mouth or any other kind of bass that's out there, this will catch them. I'll give Bog a pat for you. He's in his transitional unicorn outfit. Yeah, you gotta love that. Pitbulls looking like unicorns. But let's get out there and let's go catch some bass and learn about swim baits. two setups I do this one bait stuff with and they have one thing in common they're both lighter style setups this is what I would call a finesse swim bait approach one of them is a bait casting setup um, it's a seven foot medium action rod you know kind of your standard almost like your jerk bait rod 12 pound fluorocarbon I'm trying out this Shimano Kaios that I just got and that's what I'll use for my three ace ounce setup the other setup that I do is with a quarter down to an eighth ounce, pretty much for shallower water stuff or when I'm fishing super duper slow. And that's gonna be on when the, one of these guys, like a KS2, or I'm sorry, yeah, the KS2, I have 14 pound braid on there. I always like the fluorescent green braid because I can see the line jump if I get bit. It's a 610 medium, and then I'll run it to eight pound fluorocarbon leader. And that's for those quarter ounce and those eighth ounce setups. It's just a spinning rod when you start getting down to those lower ball weights. Weights, it's a lot easier to manage and feel the bait swim than a bait caster and like I said overall I would really define this as a finesse swim bait technique so you need your more finesse style setups in order to do it dude homie dude homie dude check out that row of wonderfulness those are all bass fish you see all the shadows down there guys those are all fish all scattered out isn't that cool yeah, they're actually over a little no that was a well i was actually down about cat i think that might be some over that way dude that's a mega school It and then I lost all contact with the swim bait. So a solid one, not a giant, but a spot though. Heads up, ball. Got actually, that's a freaking good spot, dude. It's a big old spot. It's a freaking chunky old spot, dude. Beautiful that's a pretty fish. one. Right on the pods, yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. He's right on the pods, a decent one. You guys are excited. It's another spot. Dude, he's a fat spot. You see how I pause right there, guys? Like, it, it, that fish totally ate it right as a, excuse me, bug. I can't get this thing out of his mouth. Sometimes it, we always think it's the, the reaction, like the speed. Sometimes it's just that, that one moment when that bait pauses and they're like, this is my chance. There he is. Dalton's on, on the pause as well. Nice one. It's a little one, but, but it's a spot. That's, it's a spot. But you notice how Dalton kind of paused right there for a second and then she chowed it. Just Dude, just coughed up that freaking minner right there. Coughed up just a little tiny minner. Amen. Like yeah. it. Just hold it really close to the camera. So when I'm fishing this Kaisek, you can see I'm just kind of letting it sort of pendulum down to the bottom. 
and then, and then I'll hook one. That's another good one too. Yeah. yeah, well, I'll tell you how I'm fishing it later. How's that sound? That's another solid one, dude. <laughs> and they just take, either when you do your fast reels or when you pendle them down to the bottom. Oh, that's a big old head, dude. Oh, take it easy, homie. Take it easy. I got him, dude. You just do your thing. Oh, hit spot luck. Hit spot luck. Oh, dude, that's a spot. Oh, no, that's a large. That's got, I got confused. And he just coughed up a shed. <laughs> How about them apples? That is so freaking cool. Oh, Bog's excited. I'm excited. Let's get her release, though. Back you go, homie. Oh, no. Got him that time. Dude, that's a big. I'm talking a big. I don't know. Unless it's a stripe. Oh, no, he just ate it funky. That's a good one. That's a large mouth, dude. That's a big large mouth. Oh, got it. There we go. Go ahead, grab. Dude, how about them apples? That is a chunk. And look how he ate that thing, dude. That is freaking awesome. You like that, Bog? Yes, we're gonna let him go though. Get right back in there. That's a chunk, boys. Peace. So rigging this thing up is pretty simple. I got a 3 8 ball head, and then just as a little 2.8 Kitek, and all you do is you just thread it on there, just like so, and you use that hook track to see where you're gonna pop out, which will be right about there. Slide it up, and then you're just gonna screw it on just like you, do, you would a power net, and kind of wrap the tail as you kind of twist it on. Just like that. I'm gonna have to bend that hook back a little. That's the only downside is the hooks are pretty small on these guys. So you gotta be, actually we'll take it just like that. And it sets up just like that. I'm gonna fix that hook and get right back in there. So let me tell you how I'm fishing this little Kitek. That's a 2.8 Kitek with a 3 8 ounce ball head. It's a Scottsboro Hellfire, I think it's called. I got a Shimano Kaya 721 and a seven foot medium Halo Ti. First thing I'm gonna do is make a long cast out there. This is on 12 pound fluorocarbon. We're fishing pretty deep. So I'm gonna let this thing kind of settle on down to the bottom, feed it some line and get it down there. Even though we're really not keeping total bottom contact, I wanna start with it on the bottom because that bait is going to rise. So I'm looking for my line to kind of slack out and that tells me that the bait has come down to the bottom and I think we're there. So first thing I'm gonna do is put a little bit of tension on it and just with a few kind of slow pulsating retrieves like that and all that does is sort of tighten me up to the bait and start the bait swimming and I'm gonna slow roll it kind of like you normally would a swim bait but then every once in a while I'm gonna pause like that and then I'm gonna go like two or three kind of fast reels and then I'm gonna keep the line taut and just let it pendulum on back down to the bottom and I'm gonna look for my line to kind of go slight which it just did and then I'm gonna continue my retrieve and it's sort of a combination of a few slow rolls oh, and I got one too <laughs> a few slow rolls and and then that that little quick kind of pop and these fish sort of come up and get them and you get them to react i think that's a, a solid spot dude we're a large man I, I don't even know that's a you know, and that's not how you boat flip them but let me tell you that right there is a two pound spot that's the result Wow, epic hook sets with Mikey balls. Another spot, now it seems like we're catch we caught some of the largemouth and really, usually you think you're gonna catch all the lar or the, the spots first. Dude, that's another fat spot, dude. Look at that thing. <laughs> like that's a chunky. That's a football, dude. It really is, dude. That's that same deal, like these spots, like when you catch them and they're fat, like that fish will weigh like two and a quarter, two and a half pounds, dude. They're so stocky. Peace out. Bog trying to bite stuff. I always try to show you guys what we're fishing. Basically, it's sort of a, a fall transition pattern. Like these fish are still out a little ways, but they're relating to the bait and they're potted up. And you can see them on my active target. You can see there's, well, there's one right below us. That's what an arc looks like on the 2D. And as this thing turns, you can kind of see them lined up on the active target. I'm gonna turn it just a little. There, see how they're kind of like lined up? You can see the dots right there. Basically, they're chasing bait, but they're still set up almost like what you'd find 
find on say like a ledge or something we're just fishing an underwater point and bumping that swim bait kind of on the bottom and then reeling it up and getting it a little bit higher there's spots there's largemouth i think there's some smallmouth mixed in too uh, but they're they're eating near the bottom but at the same time they want that bait kind of moving and sort of fluttering down and and, and then they just come up and just crush it right dalton Right, dude, they're freaking smashing, bro. Dude, it's freaking cool. Dude, they're freaking out there. No That's not a good one. No not a called drone one. Oh dear. Dude. Dude, a that is a big. Oh, big old head, dude. Mixed with the spots, Dalton. Dead. Oh, that's that's spotted bass. You see that? You see, yeah, let's see spotted tail, dude. <laughs> dude, and he ate it. Look where that baby. Me and my boy Dalton found the mother load, dude. Can we get this thing released? Yeah, Dalton, it. mother load. <laughs> We're gonna get this thing released. Check out that big old high back. They're down there deep chasing bait, just doing the fall fish thing a little deeper than you would think. But dude, they are potted up. There's a whole bunch of them and we're doing a classic deal. I love throwing a Kitek this time of year, whether it's a 2.8 or a 3.3 and just slow rolling it and giving it a little English, like a little fast reel here and there to kind of trigger those fish. And that's exactly what's happening right here. That's what it looks like when you're catching them. That bait is absolutely chawed. Heads up. Oh dear. That might be a smallmouth, dude. I can't do anything. <laughs> it's another big largemouth. Dude, are you kidding me? These head shaking down there like, oh, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. Come on up, homie. She's coming. Oh, oh that's old fatty bo batty. Grow, grow. <laughs> Fatty boo Fatty! Get up here, Dalton. <laughs> they, we shifted a little on him, boys. Look how he ate that thing. No, you're good. Shift. Oh, he wasn't coming off either. We shifted on him and kind of pushed out because it looked like the school kind of pushed out. And dude, how about them apples? Excuse me, Bog. We got to get this guy released. Peace. That might be a good one. Dalton coming up late, baby. Oh. The last cast, dude. That was the last cast. Oh, it's a smallmouth. It's a smallie, bro. It's a stud. Get in the boat. <laughs> oh, last cast. Let's go, baby. Dude, that's what we've been looking for to close it out. A stud smallmouth. I told you guys I teach you how to throw a finesse Kitex swim bait or a finesse style ridge swim bait during the fall. And that's exactly what we did. And we're gonna wrap up with this one. Check out this smallmouth that Dalton just caught, dude. Absolute stud smallmouth. Last cast of the day. We just said we were leaving. Check out that old brown fish. Let's get her released, Dalton. Bog's all fired up because he's in his bogacorn uniform. And here we go. <laughs> what a beautiful way to end it. I think tugged. Nice job, Dalton. Thanks, man. You guys got to get out here and, and try this deal. It's so much fun when these fish get potted up in fall, when they're on bait chasing, and it's a great way to catch them using that swim bait. You can do a million different retrieves with it. And uh, make sure you go check out my boy Dalton. Where can they find you? You can find me at Dangling with Dizzy on YouTube or Dangling with Dizzy on Facebook and same as Instagram. It's all Dangling with Dizzy, baby. We out here dangling every single day. Fire video if I do say so myself. Make sure you guys give Bog a pat because he's Bog of Corn doing his transition thing. Yes, you're looking for that smallmouth. Awesome day. Hit that like and subscribe button. We out. <laughs>